ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 37, baby. 37. The big 3-7. Mm-hmm. The big 3-7. Uh, I got to think of a basketball player that wear that jersey instead of the Jordan year. <laughs> 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 but anyway, how the hell are we, baby? What's um uh um what's the question again? How the hell are we? Uh how's it how is it uh how's it going? Talk to me, man. What's 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 pressing on your mind right now, man? Uh I need I mean, to hear from my representative, man. I need to hear from my, my, my real nigga legislature member. Today is honestly one of the worst days that I've had in my entire life. And mind you, my mom is dead. So that, that'll that tell you how bad today was. Um, okay. okay. So I got, a, I got a call from my boss today. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'm getting a raise. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, it's... It's That's not tough. anyone's fault. No, of course not. No, it couldn't be you. I mean, I know you put the work in. Yeah, it's Yeah, I'm just I'm just going through a lot right now. Like Yeah, yeah, that's tough. And and I mean they did they expand your your, your responsibilities? Or... No. Oh, oh my goodness. That's even that's even getting worse. paid more for doing the same thing. It's the just... same oh they could have at least given you a bigger role. Oh. Yeah. Like 24, 20% more work for 5% pay? Like that's... Oh, I don't think I would accept that if I had to do 20% more for 5% pay. No, I know. That's honest, the point. That is... No, that's that's how they trick you. That's the pimp. Niggas will give you the $1 raise. I'm like, oh, thanks for the $6% raise. raise. I'm just thankful that I've only worked at well, not only, but recently, yeah. I'm thankful for where I currently work is a good place because ain't no way they're gonna be like, all right. So, can they even give you more work legally if they don't give you a promotion? Like, if they up your pay, is that grounds for them to give you more work if it's not a promotion? I mean, I think they can they can give you more work even without upping your pay. So, realistically, what 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 chance do you have to beat? The five percent accusations, <laughs> like, 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 think about it. Like, you could, like, most of those jobs reserve the right to add more shit to what your job is, right? So, realistically, they can always just put give you twenty percent more work. It's just like a matter of will they pay you for only it? Only do this to people that are maybe desperate and they know they can get one Ooh, over on them. No, nah, I mean, because, they do the, the second part. Yes. The second yeah, part. You know, you can get, if you, you know, know you can get, get one over on yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. If somebody has been in the working field for 20, 30 plus years and you know, your field, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know how much you're supposed to be making. The nigga do some sideways shit to you. You're like, mm, no, nah, I'm gonna go look somewhere else. You, you could already sniff out when niggas about to do some, some such shit true. for work. That's true, but think about it. It's a lot of niggas who've been around the block. They know they get screwed, but they take it because they need something. Like you said, and that's where the desperation comes back. Yeah. In, right? And that's where, and whether it be light desperation, diet desperation, <laughs> like not, you know, not crazy desperation. I ain't, I ain't thirsty, thirsty. Like, I can go without it, but like, I kind of, I kind of do kind of need this a little bit. I feel like the a second, little bit, though. The second I realize a job is playing me, or economy, I'm gonna keep the job because I need it because I'm looking paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, but you plan I'm gonna start looking out. other places. Yeah, I'm on the way out. I'm definitely looking for. He said, from shit. that day on, I'm James Bond, nigga. Yeah, y'all. Could, uh, yeah. From that day on, for a minute, you know what y'all tell me to do? I'm gonna get this extra five percent. I'm chilling. <laughs> Ain't no more to above and beyond because if I if y'all care about me going above and beyond. Y'all to give mm-hmm. me a promotion, not five percent and twenty percent more work. Yeah, or even, but and let's be real here. Even if you gave some people ten percent more in twenty percent work, that's still that that's obviously not an even exchange, but that's still better, right? A lot of niggas look yeah. at that and be like, okay, hold up, ten percent. That's 
You know, because think about it, you're making forty thousand a year, that's extra four racks. So yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? You figure per month, what, that's an extra three hundred dollars? That the extra seventy five dollars a check. I mean, that money goes somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be gas, whether it be food you ordering, whatever it's paying for, it's going somewhere. Seventy five dollars every week. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's the worst part because a lot of them jobs they just they'll smooth look at you like, look, man, I'm gonna keep it real with you, my nigga. I'm gonna <laughs> give you more and more responsibility until you can't handle it, and then I'll just fire you. I don't yeah, care man, what it the is. The second you fuck up, you're out the door, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all cool here. Listen, no, it's there's no hatred. It's nothing like that. It's just, it's just I'm going to expose you, and then once you're exposed, you got to go. I'm going to expose you. Expose him. <laughs> expose him. Uh, uh, you gonna ex- why are you going to expose me? Expose him. I thought we was, <laughs> yo, boss, we always been cool, yo. I thought, what you, why are you going to expose me? I be that way, man. It's either you or me, and it'll never be me. Why do it gotta be either of us? <laughs> he said, because that's, that's the way. That's the way it works. Okay, you would get that if you was like, bro. I've been around for twenty years. I, I that's not the way it has to work. You it just choose to do it that like, way. Yeah, you're doing this. I've this done this for nine years it. at another place, and it wasn't this. I promise you. And it wasn't <laughs> this. I assure you, it wasn't this. Like I, I, I can. It was a while ago, yeah, but I remember vividly. <laughs> It wasn't this, bro. He didn't have to do all this. He said, well, that's how I go around here. Well, yeah, that's what it's sink or swim around here. <laughs> you know, some people can't handle what we expect. I'm like, bro, come on. that's not, Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, now suddenly I'm not fit for the job no more, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what we get, man. Same job I was doing fine for six months. And then once y'all threw extra shit on my plate, it immediately went left. Maybe it went left for a reason. Did you? Mm, mm. Did you happen to catch that? Like, why? Do we... Can you talk to him? Nah, yeah. Nah. You nah. wouldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> Y'all won. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna keep arguing with you. Y'all won. <laughs> I got something for that, though. What you got? Don't worry about it. Just know that y'all won. <laughs> nah, I kind of want to know. <laughs> what you... Huh. I got that boobop. Anyways, before we get put on the list... Well, I mean, I'm definitely already on the list for the shit that I be saying. I be saying that. Not even on the podcast. Like Dean's just on list? Twitter. You talking like Dean's list? No, the NSA watch list. Oh, man. Come on, I'm man. on that shit. What's Richard Snowden? Why you I'm making that? Al- why you making the algorithm go? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. All I said was I'm on the list. <laughs> yeah, no, you mentioned it. Just mentioning that you the algorithm. The list, like, the the why is somebody? Are they talking about the list? What they talking about me for? Yo, take my name out your mouth, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yo, get my name out your mouth immediately." <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't hear Mr. nothing List. you said. He didn't hear the context. He don't know who you are. He don't know nothing. Yo, get my name out your mouth, bro. My fault. My fault, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> big bro. My fault, big bro. <laughs> I don't want no smoke at the same watch. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, no, nah, I know you don't want no smoke. Nigga, you not like that. No, nah, I'm definitely not. Yo, stop talking." <laughs> Nigga just be quiet. He want to say all right, but he's like, nah, nah, that's the wrong thing to listen, do. Listen, listen, listen. Either you gonna stop talking, or you gonna get the fuck up out of here. And you know what Richard Snowden did? That nigga went to Russia. He said, nah, 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 nah. I got shit to say, and I ain't gonna. You know how fuck up? You know how fucked up the government got him? Oh, yeah. Dude. Is it ever? I think it's ever. I don't know. We could both be getting it wrong. Either way, his last <laughs> name is Snowden. Yeah, but you know, you know, how, you know how fucked up the government has to be. For you to run to one of the government's enemies for safety? Well, I mean, or that's just a tactical play. Let's keep it in. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna pull up on Russia and grab me. So you might yeah, pull well, up you on can't. someone in the UK. You literally can't, one. And yeah. two, let's be real here. I got you know, and, and the problem is though, whenever you make that play, you are essentially at the mercy of the other nigga. Because yeah, if Russia literally. wanna if Russia wants to double cross you, it's cooked. It's over with. You, know you wake up like, blindfolded back in the hands of the CIA. Word. 
pressure. Like, you know what? I'll tell you what. We going to punk the Americans one more time, but, like, we want to get in their good graces. So we going to give him back as a gift. Get a little shit, and then we going to juggle. <laughs> and then we going to juggle. It's, it's chess, not checkers, yeah. Actually, uh, interested to know how that shit turned out. Because, like, the movie Snowden that was based... You know, the movie with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, where he's playing Snowden? Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to know what it, happened... Yeah. After he went to Russia, like, did he was he, is he feeding Russia secrets or is Russia just like I yeah, feel like fuck that the capitalist that's... pigs? We just you we happy to have you transport over. My thing is, I mean, like, I'm sure it's that, but like, come on, bro, you know you gotta give something. Ain't no yeah, like like, like, like Russia looking at you like Denzel, like Russia looking at you like Denzel. I'm I'm from around the way. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just about to come over here and be safe, nigga. Yeah, don't get wrong, bro. We can make shit a hundred, a thousand percent safe for you. Let's be, let's keep it to me. A thousand. Oh, we can make shit a million percent worse, nigga. Yeah, or I can make it ten trillion times. <laughs> you like okay? So is a thousand percent safe? Better than a trillion times worse because I feel like if you a thousand percent safe, it don't matter what the percentage of the worst is, right? Yeah, no, right. So no matter what, just what not my enemies safe, can't get it's, to me. Yeah, okay. So it's either one or the other, though, because like he not doing nothing less than a thousand percent safe. So <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. So it's either Guantanamo or safety in Russia or the beach. Yeah, <laughs> Russia got beaches. I'm there. I mean, I guess out. if you chip some ice on inside beer, you can make a beach. I'm sure they got something out there. They got geysers or something. They got know. the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea, the Red Sea, the Dead Sea. Any of them seas there? Yo, oh, look, man. Geography wasn't my strong suit. Not neither. You know what's funny? Like, I remember talking to somebody uh, who was from Canada, and a lot of people were from, like, Australia other places. And then I realized very quickly, Americans don't know nothing about the rest of the world. Yeah. Because I had no clue what countries was connected with. And it was like, bro, you ain't no Francis right there. I'm like, no, nigga. I, I, bro, bro, I promise you. It's just. Nigga, I'm, I barely I'm know ignorant what. Because that's exactly what it is. But I barely know I don't what know. countries are connected in South America. And yeah, that's I no barely know what I states just... be connected to what. I, remember no, I, read barely, I don't know what states yeah. are connected to what. I just know that the states are there. I know like, all 50 states. I don't know where they at. Yeah, like, Where's imagine somebody was like, yo, draw a line from Indiana to Idaho and all the states in between. I'm like, bro, what? Bro, what? <laughs> bro, I, what are you talking about? Yeah, like, what? what are you talking about? Bro? Why, why are we doing that? Why do I even need to know this? I am <laughs> I got GPS, so I can just drive through. No, 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 no. But if you happen to be in South Dakota, you need to know where you at. What? If I, I got what? GPS. I know where I'm at. I'm going to know exactly. I got Google. <laughs> yeah, what? I can look First up the off, airport code and no, show me where the airport is. Ain't no one ever be in North Dakota ever under any circumstances. Uh, God South never... Dakota, sir. Either way, <laughs> let's just wait. See. Which one got the? Which one got the father's heads? Mount Rushmore. Uh, I think that's North Dakota, or is that like Montana or something? No, it's it's like a don't. It's even... South Dakota. You don't know your East own East landmarks. Why would I, bro? No. no. My landmarks. Oh, uh, as an American, not as a Black oh, American. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for making that. I knew yeah. it was in Dakota. It I didn't know if it was North or South. This nigga said Montana. Look, they need to chisel. Nigga, there is nothing in Montana Fox. but ranchmen. They need Cowboys. to have space to chisel Jimmy Fox up there. Can you imagine yeah. Jimmy Fox <laughs> next to Washington Jefferson? <laughs> said he I want. Game. I want a Mount Rushmore full of just completely random niggas. Not even, it don't even have to be niggas that have been influential in any oh, way. I mean, it don't have to be president. Like or most random assortment let me get, of people. Uh, can I get let's get Billie Lavelle Eilish. Crawford up there. Can I get Billie Eilish, uh, Latrell Sprewell? Um, let me get, uh, <laughs> let me get a little freaky. Kwame Kilpatrick. Kwame <laughs> uh, He said, can I get a uh, Malik Yoba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what what about um? I can hmm. throw a Randy Moss up there. Okay, throw a Randy Moss up there. All right, all right I'm like, what about a Jamarcus Russell? Mm, mm. I see that. And then raise you tech nine. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna give you Vince Young, a millionaire. Oh, 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 oh,
really in there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that's tough. Mims. <laughs> Who are the members of D12? Random. <laughs> he said 82. We gonna roll a dice. <laughs> um, yeah. Red Cafe. <laughs> Red Cafe. <laughs> Red Cafe. Yeah, that's, Red that's, Cafe. What that's what we doing. That's what we doing. Red Cafe is a name that I have not heard <laughs> in at least 13 years. Oh, man. Mr. Fab. <laughs> Mr. Fab. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, CeeLo Green. See, so you got to mix and match the highs and the lows. You know what I mean? You yeah. just can't go all high. You can't go all low. You can't, you know, you got to you gotta show your, your your versatility, you know? Little Wayne, but not just any Little Wayne, specifically Drought 3 Little Wayne. Mm, okay. Ooh, Time Castle Little Wayne. I like that. I like that. Um, all right. All right. Let me get my Time Castle back. Let me get uh, Vocal Tank Top Nelly. Mm. Mm-hmm. With the the bandaid under the mm-hmm. eye. Oh, we talking sweat movie. suit, sweat suit. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go fictional and get Osmosis Jones. Oh my god, what a oh man, oh man. Yeah, that's nasty. That's yeah. nasty, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. How about this? Let's get Little Bear. Ooh, see, Little Bear, that can lead you down a whole trail. You can get Franklin. Mm-hmm. You can yeah, get yeah, yeah. I was gonna go with Franklin. You can get but... Oswald. We'll go, yeah, I'm we'll going a little bit. Mm. Osmosis Jones, son. ah man, that's that's unbelievable. Yeah, sometimes I feel like he's still here today. <laughs> that's better than Red Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Red Cafe uh, is hilarious, though. I don't know why that shit. I was thinking, I was gonna say like Saigon. I was like, no, no, no. Uh, Red, Red Cafe is the one. Move. That's the move. Uh, I'm going to go with one of the Monstars, specifically the tall blue one. Okay. Um, it's between him and the fat orange one, but I'm going with tall blue one for sure. Hmm. Okay. 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 I'm going to go with one of the dogs that was in the zoot suit in, in, in the, uh, the old fucking Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Mm. Any of the dogs, any one of them. Deep cuts, deep, deep cuts. cuts. Any one of them. Mm. Or better yet, remember when Tom opened the door and pointed the dogs in? <laughs> All the cats in the zoo suits. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah, them niggas. I'm gonna go with Powerline from a Goofy movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Jorgen von Strangle and <laughs> from Fairly Odd Pants. Oh man, fuck! I'm gonna go with Shigo from Kim Possible. That's a good one. That's a good one. Is that the? Hold on, have we had a white person on here yet? Oh, what Mount Rushmore? Yeah, this is just like the random Rushmore, right? But like, have we put a white person? Have we said a white name? Because I mean, she go mix, I mean, right? Like, what is Jordan, she? Go? As far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, she mixed with something. I don't know why. <laughs> he said, "I'm leaving it with something." Jordan Von Strangle was white. He just tanned as fuck. Oh, okay. That nigga definitely. He's funny that he was the first white man on it. <laughs> I think he was, was. He the first white man. Who do we start? I mostly Jordan ain't white. Um, no, he definitely not white. No dogs. I mean, come on now. Huh? The cats and the zoo suits. Cats and zoo suits. Cats and zoo suits is. You think we said a millionaire, whole bunch Nelly and uh, Lil Wayne? Yeah, no, nah, no way. No, nah, that's crazy. This uh, Jordan Montreal was the first white person who brought yeah. up. Hey, man, <laughs> salute to the guy, y'all. He had to earn it. Man, somebody had to earn it. Um, shoot. All right, we're going to put this. Hold on, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oof. Getting tough now. Yeah. Getting tough now. Cause I don't know where I want to go with it. I'm gonna go with Fantasia. Mm. Mm-hmm. Fantasia. Mm. All right. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna go with fictional slash realistic, right? 
Mm-hmm. So Alicia Keys, but the waitress Alicia Keys that was calling the nigga over hot chocolate and fried fish in the morning. Oh man. <laughs> okay, okay, I see that. And I'm gonna raise you Kelly Rowland as Nelly's girlfriend in the dilemma video. Texting on the Excel spreadsheet. Not on the Excel spreadsheet on the side. On the Excel spreadsheet. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that's hard to beat. Oh man. Give me the little white kid with the glasses that was friends with Lil Bow Wow and like Mike. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, man, yo, this is like a different. I, right, right, you know what? Give me kissing Kate Barlow from Holes. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. Mhm. Uh, oh man. Deep cut. That's another white person too, by the way. Hmm. Second. Uh, shit. Let me. Hmm. Let me get the. The thick teapot from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, this thing is unbeatable. Oh man. Oh man. The oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh man. Damn, that is I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh man, that's that's it. That got me beat. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. That's that got me beat. I mean, hey, honestly, I I thought I was beat when I heard Red Cafe. That was if I didn't make the jump to to fictional characters, I think Red Cafe would have been the most random, (laughs) the crowning, yeah, yeah. person. That's one of the ones where, like, you look at the whole legacy. You're like, how did Red Cafe end? Hey, boy, hey, look, man. (laughs) You come out long at the right time. You you strike magic at the right time, baby. Red Cafe. Red Cafe, I get it. <laughs> Red Cafe. Oh you sit here in New York, baby. Pay for touching, bro. Oh man. Oh man, the thick teapot though. That might that might have to be the title, or at least we could put that up there on the list. The, the thick, thick teapot. teapot. Or I like cats in zoot suits. That's. Yeah, yeah, that's just because of my love for Tom and Jerry. Big zoot cats and zoot suits. The, the idea of a zoot suit is funny as fuck. The fact, oh, no, that yeah. the fact, yeah, the fact that, like, that's why I always look at all the fashion from all the eras, and I'm like, yo, I'm glad somebody was stupid enough to take these risks. I do appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Y'all niggas look foolish, but I appreciate the way that some of y'all niggas stepped outside of that, that, that box so that way people who could. Look at y'all silliness and then take it and then refine it could move the shit forward. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it had to be done. Somebody it had, had to, to be done. Somebody has to be just absolutely dumb. Just just nigga, what? Like when niggas was wearing uh clear Marcus Houston specifically was wearing clear oh, clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clear clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's <laughs> niggas built differently. Remember the clear, the clear Air Forces and shit? Yeah. All that goofy shit, man. I don't want to yeah. see your foggy ass ones, bro. Uh, they got the foggy ones. Or... Hazed up, yo. <laughs> got the hazy forces, nigga. No. Oh, Lord. The foggy force one, nigga. I'm good. I'm straight. Oh, man. Oh. He said the clear clothes. Yeah, nah, it's some bad trends, but look. You know what? Some of that shit has to happen because some people got to see the Ludicrous. Like some of the shit work. Like what I don't like now though, that's popping now is like you, you know that trend of like people with like the pants where it's like cut off and they like hang on both sides. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. it's like zippered or almost or some shit. Like you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I can't stand that. I, I I'm just not like I've seen a couple fits that do work. 
right? But it's like when y'all shit dangling all on the ground, I'm like, bro, is this high school again where we dragging our jeans on the ground and them shit's turning blue and like because it's wet outside? Like, is that what we doing? Yeah. Is that what we doing, bro? Because I thought we was past that. <laughs> we just didn't know no better, bro. We weren't doing that for for for, for a choice. It wasn't a fashion statement. Yeah, we was we just wearing baggy clothes. We couldn't keep them up. Yeah, them shits would just naturally sag. Even with your belt, you gotta let it sag a little bit. So <laughs> that was weird. Like niggas be wearing belts, it's still sagging the belt. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, hey, that's some crazy shit to see. Nigga got his ass out while wearing a belt. <laughs> No, y'all got the fly belt. Y'all see the belt? Like, bro, nah, no freaky. Your whole ass. You got this shit underneath your ass. Literally. Why are you even wearing a belt? Oh, man. I'm like, bro, stop it, bro. You showing niggas the bubble. Y'all relax. The bubble? <laughs> you gotta relax. <laughs> and niggas look at you like, hey, yo. Like, no, yo, no. You. You hey, are the hey, yo. Nigga. I just mentioned it. You the one that got it, right? You wearing it. You got, got it on me. Yeah, you <laughs> legitimately got it on you. <laughs> He got the bubble on him, man. Relax, yo. Come on, bro. Why are we doing that? Yeah, why are we doing that? <laughs> what, what, what the pants doing? What are niggas getting out of that? What the belt doing? <laughs> I need to know what niggas are getting out of this. Or do know. I? No. No, I you don't. don't. We don't. That's, yeah. yeah. No, we definitely don't. All right, man. So shoot, let me think. Let me think. What do we want to hit on this list? <laughs> Cause boy, we we ain't mentioned nothing on the agenda yet. Um, oh, random niggas on Mount Rushmore wasn't on the agenda. No, of course not. <laughs> no, <laughs> of course not. Are you cap? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you lie like shit. <laughs> no, ain't no way. That's not on the agenda. Like, yo. Um, sheesh. That was boy. Uh, all right, well, we can start with some. I mean, do we want to get sick? Do we want to talk about video games? Do we want to talk about music? Let's TV? talk about the elephant in the room and every room in the world. Elden Ring. Oof. Yeah, I, listen. Right now, I'm, I'm shocked that the like, I'm shocked Biden hasn't addressed the nation yet about Elden Ring because yeah. it's it's just I don't understand what he's waiting for. It's becoming a national thing, and it's it's bigger than World War Three at this point. Like I'm actively putting more thought into Elden Ring than the possibility of World War Three at this point. Yeah, well, some would call that compartmentalizing, but um, I just think I, it's just there's no way that someone hasn't spoken spoken about this yet. Like, I, like niggas are arguing with the president, they arguing with niggas on Twitter. Like, no, 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 no. Elden Ring is dropping, right? Are y'all paying attention? In, like, he's like, am I, am I going crazy? <laughs> yeah, like, what? nobody's talking about it. <laughs> now, obviously, everybody in the game can be talking about this, but political people in power are not mentioning this. What is going on with this? Like, do they not understand the importance that this game has? I'm not getting it. So, I don't think they're understanding the cultural footprint and um, sustainable impact. Because this will last for generations. I, I don't I don't think they're getting it. Yeah. I don't think no. they see the vision. They can't possibly. They can't possibly. When I say this game will last for generations, like they remade Demon Souls and put it on PS5, they're gonna remake Elden Ring and put it on PS7. Put it on the PSX. They're gonna skip from the PS6. I don't, it ain't gonna be called the six, but it's gonna be called something. <laughs> And then the Shit. one after that, they're going to go straight to X. It's going to be PSX. They're going to run that back, mm. and they're going to get it right this time. I like PSX. It's a good name. No, it's good. And the problem is you can't wait until you get to the 10th one. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's, okay, stupid. No, that's stupid. That's stupid. Just make that shit happen anytime you want. If you're ready for it, but it, you got to understand, it's got to be that. See, Xbox wasn't ready for it when they did theirs. Xbox One X. Xbox One in general was stupid. Y'all had it right there. Y'all had 360, 720. But no, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Yeah. It was just stupid. But I think they should have stuck to... with the original. What was the original? Xbox Project Scorpion? That would have been hard. Instead, you go with Xbox One. 
Really? Or if you're going, like, if, my thing is if you're going, but again, the problem is you have to actually be able to change the game with this, with these numbers or with these, you know what I mean? Because if you have a series, it's like, think about it. Say you got, like, Devil May Cry 1, Devil May Cry 2, Devil May Cry 3. Is that the time to just decide we're going to do Devil May Cry and it's not numbered? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe that's yeah. not the time. Maybe we should do four and then run into one of those. Or maybe we should do five first. And then, so it's like, sometimes niggas make a mistake and they pick one where they should have picked the other. And it's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell when you're supposed to do it. Because I think Xbox probably thought they had enough to make that Xbox One. Like, yeah. they thought that was that gen, like that that leap. Like, all right, nah, nigga, we going back to the core, but we we won up, we won up on them, nigga. You feel me? They must have thought it was the gym in graphics and FPS rate alone, because gameplay wise, they didn't have no games. They had Xbox One, they had Gears of War Four, yeah, and then some Halos, and some Halos. Not even some Halos. They had Halo Five. One Halo, yeah, right, one Halo. (laughs) <laughs> and then they just had a bunch of cross-platform games that everybody was playing. Yeah. So, I mean, but yeah, like PS, like look, same thing. Like we already got PS Five, and I think Six is clunky. So I think PS6, you know, you gotta reinvent it at the PS Five. Six is too much. Yeah. Exactly. Because I my thing is back to the original PlayStation. Just yeah, you could do so, like you could do PS Five, PlayStation, and then PlayStation X. Right. That yeah. that'll be a fine. Well, that'll be a fine leap. See, this or, is why or, or nigga do the PSS, the PlayStation Super, nigga. Oh, the Super PlayStation, baby. <laughs> Niggas don't want to know what the Super PlayStation is. SPS? SP. Oh, it sounds crazy. The Super PlayStation. Come on, bro. It's over with. That should come after six. You get a little cheesy with the six, right? Or with after five, I mean. And six would be the cheesy one. That's the super PlayStation. They do PSX, right? That's the re- refined. You refined it after that. You went super, and now you just you X, yo. Know, you the you the Alpha and Omega now, or something like that. We getting off topic though. We was talking about probably one of the biggest games of mm-hmm. our generation, and that's Street Fighter Six, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh no, that's Capcom Fighting Collection, right? What the fuck uh, is Captain Fighting Collection? No, wait, hold on. No, don't worry. It's just like eight different editions of Darkstalkers, along with a bunch of what other the games. What the fuck is Darkstalkers? Uh, the game with Morgan and that mummy nigga and some other people who were in Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, I never knew where Morgan came from. I've always seen her on Marvel vs. Capcom, but I had no idea mm-hmm. where she, she came from. from. Darkstalkers. There's a bunch of niggas in Marvel vs. Capcom that are from Darkstalkers. I didn't know. And I was like, oh, all these guys? Okay, cool. But I just I've never seen Dark Stalkers or played Dark Stalkers. Dark yeah, no. Stalkers. Ooh. Dark Stalkers. Dark Stars. I'm trying to think, it's, they got Morgan, Felicia, uh, Baby Bond, like you know, like the Red Riding Hood with the strap. Is this S and K? Uh, Dark Stalkers. No, oh. S and K is its own. This is Capcom. Right? No, this is Capcom. Yeah. They got the Mummy nigga and a Nacarus. Was it Street Fighter versus SNK or Capcom? It was Street Fighter versus SNK, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was because I think they brought over SNK characters to Street Fighter. Well, they did have like a Capcom versus like Tatsu Noko or some shit like that, right? Like, they had SNK versus Capcom. They had two of those. Oh, they did have an SNK versus Capcom. Yeah. 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 I remember playing the game with the original. Oh, they had ones. three of those. Oh, they had three. The third one was in 2021. Interesting. Capcom versus S. Yeah, because I remember this nigga in the red and white hat going against Ryu. We were playing this on the original Xbox. <laughs> I don't know that nigga name. Is his name Terry? His name is Jim. Yo, this, I'm looking at the roster for Capcom versus SNK, and it's like 8 trillion characters. <laughs> yeah. Dog, it's F, like it's 8,000 hundred million niggas on this screen. It looked like a Mugen game. Where you literally. Every, it literally looks like a every, like a nigga downloaded every mod that they got on the website. It was 180 characters on the mod. He said, all right, cool, I'll take them all. Then he went to another site and got 22 more. <laughs> I never downloaded Mugen games. That used, to be, that used to be a time on PC. Yeah, I never, like, I played Mugen a bunch of times, but I never, like, downloaded it, had it, and, like, was fucking with it like that. 
But oh. nah, I used to see some of the silly shit. And I was SNK like, oh. is Sega? I never knew what SNK was. I just remember playing Capcom versus SNK. I don't remember. I don't think I ever played that. I played Marvel vs. Capcom and I played um Everybody what was the other one? Marvel vs. Capcom. It was Marvel vs. something. It was DC vs. Mortal Kombat. No, I didn't play that shit. I know that. For real? That shit was woo. That shit was fun. Oh, there's yeah. a bunch of Dark Stalkers niggas in uh Marvel vs. Capcom between two and three. It's like and infinite if you include uh fucking Jetta. Oh, the cat girl is in here too? Yeah, Felicia, Morgan, Baby Bonnie Hood, uh Jetta was in Marvel Infinite. Um Why are these characters so sexy? Senko who is in three, Anacharis who was in two. Why does Cat Girl dress like this though? Where are they getting? You know why she dressed like this, bro? We ain't got to really like get into it. Like you know, no, we do. We do. You know what's going on, bro? Don't. I wish to know more. (laughs) See, well, that's the problem. That's the problem, (laughs) yo. You need to mind your business sometimes. (laughs) He said, "No, I I thirst for knowledge." This wolf looks familiar too. Is the wolf in there? He's. I don't think so. Not that I know. Well, I've I seen, never seen that nigga. I've seen him. But yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's cool that, like, some of these uh, old, like, fighting game companies, like the Capcoms and the Segas and all of them are releasing a lot of these games again on newer uh, consoles. I mean, and plus they're not charging niggas the full 60 which I think is, uh, I, I appreciate that at least. Even if it's $40, okay, it's like seven, eight games in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, the, like, yeah, like, I mean, all right. You're like, yeah, but each one's a Dark Stalkers game. Okay. And it's just like that's like saying, Oh, if I purchase a bundle of Dragon Ball Z games and it's seven different Dragon Ball Z games, it's just Dragon Ball Z every time. Okay. Yeah, but there's different <laughs> games. Like Yeah, Budokai, right. Budokai, like if I could get yeah, Budokai one, one, two, three, all the ten Kaiichis, which is thick wait, how many it was three ten Kaiichis, right? It wasn't it was four. Three Budokai's and then it was three, Budokai three. Tenkaichi and then a bunch of Tenkaichi's. Tenkai- and it was three Tenkaichis, though. So three Budokai's, three Tenkaichis, then it was Burst Limit. But mind you, we still skipping over the old shit from PlayStation 1. Yeah. We skipping over Final Bout, <laughs> Ultimate Legends and shit. Final Bout was crazy. That Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, that shit went so high. I remember I had that, that. You had to get, like, the Japanese, like, translator joint for the PlayStation. Yeah. And shoo, Dragon Ball Final Bout was spicy. I don't remember playing Burst Limit on 360. I think that was the first open world Dragon Ball game where you fly to fights. Oh, Burst Limit was tough. I ain't gonna hold you. Dragon Ball has some good games. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I tell you what, um, you know, you know, Nintendo ain't fucking with that. Them niggas is just they just sitting. There. I don't understand. How, why they work the way they work. Like I, I like I get it from like I get some of the like when I see some of the nasty things they do, I get those. Those are the things I understand. That that, that makes the most sense. Like they're just they're capitalists. I get it. Um but when I see like y'all just sitting on gold mines that your fans are clamoring for. Yeah, I don't understand. that's the part that I don't get. Don't like you make hella bread. Then y'all don't Yeah, like bro and that's my whole thing. Like y'all made it clear that that's what this is about. Like this is about the bread. Like I'm only suing. I'm only doing all this stuff because you ain't gonna use my shit like that. Nah, it's mine. So it's like okay, bro. Like, but it's it's like y'all are capitalists and y'all know it. But like y'all don't want to like fully go all in and be like, well, I'm really a cap- bro. Stop it. You just, like like I feel like you know what it is. Like I feel like it's about tradition, right? Because we talking about you know we talking about Japan, Japan right? Yeah, exactly. We're talking about Japan. So it's like. I can't emulate the Westerners, even though we do the global economies, nigga, everybody's moving the same. Capitalists are capitalists. You get what I'm saying? Like any region you in, bro, capitalism wins and capitalism works like 80 to 90% of the same way. There's some nuances based on what region of the world you in and who you got to deal with and so on and so forth. But my nigga, it's money works just about everywhere. Like let's keep it a bean. Your money's going to be, you going to be good with money 90% of the time. Now, the 10% could be some rough 10%, but it is what it is. So, But the problem is, because of tradition and a lot of other shit, niggas went, nah, I ain't like them niggas, so I ain't going to just pimp out. I ain't going to pimp myself out and just sell all my games and what, give everybody something for money, do all these little battle passes. And, nigga, 
Nigga, why are you listening to yourself? Because you still going to do well, some like, of that shit a little bit. So why not just fully just jump into the pool and flood your fans with the tidal wave of all the content that, <laughs> that comes up when you jump in the pool? They only do it for the franchises that they don't really give a shit about. Their yeah. major franchises, franchises like Mario, Pokemon, ain't no way. But fucking, uh, there's a samurai fighting series just like Dark Stalkers and fucking uh, SMK and everything that's on uh, the Switch mm-hmm. that comes with like fucking four different games and I literally have them. Ooh. But it's a game from like 1990 that nobody fucking remembers. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But my thing is like, dog, like especially when it's like niggas are porting them shits and they don't take much to port these games from what I've seen. Like in terms of like I'm not saying I'm not downplaying like the actual niggas who do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, but I'm saying in terms of a company, like if you you know if you wanted to port these games successfully, it wouldn't cost you much, and the return is gonna cook them. Because mm-hmm. if you imp- like if you just port in a batch of like 150 games, even if 25 to 30 of them games are games no one's ever heard of, the hundred gonna carry you. Literally, yeah. Literally, you. like no, it's literally, like, yeah, no, like literally, bro. Like those hundred look like if you got and fuck it, the hundred, it might end up being 20 games out of the whole 150 that you make and that carry you, and the rest of the games is just there. It's just a game where 9,000 niggas got it and they love it, but that's it. <laughs> I would literally buy uh old Pokemon game like Pokemon Gold. Ruby, yeah, Sapphire. I would definitely play like Gold and Silver right now. I mean, that shit would go crazy. I think Gold and Silver like was really the last ones that I really put time into. Like I, I played like the I think Ruby. I played like Leaf Green and all of those, but I never like finished none of those. Like and really cooked it. Like like I think Gold. Gold, no, it was silver. It was silver, matter of fact. Or platinum was, was platinum shit. after. When was platinum? I doubt you played platinum because that shit was on. It was like, after like Ruby and all that. Yeah, platinum. Okay, was I didn't play platinum. No, no, yeah, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. So it was silver. Then. That's all it was. It was silver. But silver was like the last one that I really like went crazy with, and I put mad time in the silver, silver and gold. Um, and I played Leaf Green a little bit. I played Rubies a little bit, but I didn't even get far in like the Ruby. I didn't play Sapphire at all, and that was pretty much when I fell off. I played Ruby and Sapphire, but I didn't play a single thing after that. Yeah, I don't know. I fell off 100% of that. Yeah, I literally stopped playing Pokemon altogether after Ruby and Sapphire, because after that, that's when it went to DS and 3DS, and mm-hmm. then it was like fucking... Mm-hmm. Diamond, platinum, and wide, and wide, and move. Yeah, I didn't. That's where I think. I didn't own a DS until way later. Until like it didn't matter to me anymore. Like I had gone so long without playing Pokemon, I was like, I don't even give a shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I don't even care. I'd rather play the Kirby game on here than this. Yeah, yes, <laughs> but I never even got a 3DS. Like, no, I didn't have one either. I had a DS. I had a DS Lite, I believe, a blue one. Um, but by the time I got it, it was late in its lifespan. Anyways, like I said, it was like, yeah, the, like the 3DS was out, and it was you know pumping that big Mario shit, the Super Mario joint that was on there. You know, what yeah, I, mean? I got the what was it, Nintendo? It was Mario DS, literally. Yeah, 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 literally, yeah. They was pumping that shit, and mind you, that was new, but the shit I had was old. It was like four years old at that point, or three years old at that point. And, like, I, all I had was Ruby and them type of shit. So I wasn't playing none of the older games. Because it still had to slot for, like, a Game Boy uh, Color games. Yeah. Or like, so, Advanced, or advanced game. games, Advanced games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was playing, like, the Kirby joints. I was playing a whole bunch of them shits. But I wasn't playing, like, poke, like the new Pokemons at that point. The new Pokemons. Speaking of Pikachu, we talking about mice, right? I'm about to talk about some nasty shit. Oh, I don't like that segue. Did you? Oh, you gonna hate it even more? Did you hear about? There were 400 Family Dollar stores that were shut down after they found a warehouse, like a distribution warehouse, a distribution center, I think, in I want to say Mississippi or like Arkansas, one of them two. Uh. And they found over 1,000 dead mice at 
the warehouse, along with living mice and, uh, well, just a lot more. I like that. Yeah, I didn't like 1, that. 1,000 dead mice and more living. Mm-hmm. It was shut down over 400 stores, uh, affected about six states' supply chain. Um, but I'm not gonna hold you. That should have 400 me stores. Yeah, 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 yeah. 400 stores, six states. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I I didn't like that at all either. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, uh, and I feel like with whole the whole COVID shit and the way you know Trump ran the whole presidency, and I think the fact that people fail to realize. I think the biggest impact of what Trump did, beyond all the foolery, the Tom, you know, the bullshit he was saying and all that, and just cheapening the presidency, beyond all that, the biggest thing was he fired so many niggas. There's so many people that you just have to get back in. You know what I mean? So, like, think mm-hmm. about it. You're Biden, and now you have to deal with the world crashing in front of you. So all that shit takes precedence over hiring a random nigga for like position 199 like you know what i mean like that's just not on your mind right now bro like i I can't hand pick that i can't pick a decent guy who's gonna make sure the niggas in arkansas act right like <laughs> like i just i don't have time for that right now y'all figure it out and hopefully y'all get the right guy so hopefully yeah hopefully or maybe no one you know we don't even hire a guy for a year and then you know shit just someone takes over and essentially we just figure it out like i think that's one of the big things that's affecting a lot of these agencies is that remember he got rid of a lot of career staff and not just that he got just got rid of think about how many people just saw the writing on the wall and said just, nah, yeah, i'm good said, no, i'm no. good i got 27 years in you know what <laughs> I'm going to take my I'm just about to raise my blood pressure. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm finna head out, y'all. <laughs> y'all need me then? I'm about to go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is y'all talking about? He said, nah, you got work to do. It ain't your lunch break. <laughs> What's this? Y'all need me then? For real, for real. I've been here 25 years. I take my lunch break when I want. I'm saying, and second off, for real, for real, do anybody need anything? Not you, though. Specifically, you, not you. You just asked. Besides you. You asked yeah. out. <laughs> you asked out. You dumbass fault, nigga. I would have brought you something, too. Mm-hmm. I would have brought you a honey bun. Easy, easy, nigga. It wouldn't have mattered. But the two for $3 pack of peanuts, yeah, I would have did that. But not now. Cook. But yeah, nah, man, this is uh, this is nasty. This is pretty. This is pretty sick, and I'm not gonna hold you. I feel like it's just another symptom of capitalism, man. Well, now it's like, bro, you have to. It has to be rules and regulations. I don't care what these conservative niggas is telling y'all. Niggas can't be left to their own devices. Period. We have seen this historically. It don't look outside of ourselves. Even outside of this country, we seen it. But we seen it in this country, so we don't even have to look outside of us. And that'd be the part that killed me. Like, Americans won't acknowledge anything but American history and then still glaze over American history. So it's like, nigga, you yeah, just no. don't care, period. You know, I'm acknowledging the shit that I care about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, bro, you don't know nobody else's history, and you barely know. You know just enough of our history to freak it. Not to tell the truth, but to freak it. Well, no, it was a battle for states' rights, and they were trying to take away our, our economy and our way of life. And it's just my nigga. What, what who was powering your economy and what was your way of life? Tell me, <laughs> just tell me. That's all I'm asking. I'm not denying what you're saying. All I'm saying is make sure you put a name and a face to the two things you said. Like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, come on now. We just but... need a Pod Piper of R and B to get all these mics. <laughs> Okay, maybe not of R and B, just a straight up pot piper <laughs> for the mic. Nigga, a mouse charmer. <laughs> yeah, we need a mouse charmer. <laughs> he said, uh, "I'm hiring a, a a mouse charmer." Yo, he said three hundred dollars an hour. I don't even know what y'all rated. I just need one now. I don't know. Charmer. I know. I know. I'm overpaying you. I know. I'm overpaying you. I just we need a mouse charmer. Now. Immediately, man. Expeditiously. <laughs> nigga, call you said you said three hundred dollars an hour. Is that a problem? You want me to go higher? <laughs> Look, I'll I'll do it's five. Bro. It's my final offer. He said, "Yeah, I'll do five, bro. I'll do five easy." He said, um, where where do you live? I'm close, bro. I'm I'm real close. 
I'm wherever you need me to be. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm already at the spot. What's the address again? <laughs> but yeah, man, this is sick, man. It's, uh, it's, it's real nasty. And uh, my whole thing is, like, I remember seeing, uh, like, remember when Trump was president and a lot of those pork uh, factories was getting caught up in some shit. And I was like, mm, I don't know about all this. Some interesting things going on. Numbers are surging a little bit. Chipotle was wreaking havoc on niggas bio microbiomes. You know, I've eaten Chipotle a number of times in my life, but I've never had an issue. I don't. Where do niggas no, be eating? Well, you, where they just be getting Chipotle? And, no, I mean like what Chipotle is niggas be? What states? The ones what? they go to. It don't be mattering. It just be the I, ones they at. It, you just don't be there. And that's very, that's yeah, beautiful. Just, my Chipotle just don't be having. E. I know. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's how life's supposed to be. Wait, wait. But so unfortunately for some e. Coli, niggas, that ain't how it is. <laughs> are E. coli and salmonella strong enough to where you can still get sick after you cook the meat? Because I always wondered how niggas be getting sick from eating cooked food. Unless the food was prepared improperly and the meat is cooked, but niggas got dirty yeah. hands and they spread it. Yeah, there might be some meat. shit like that, or it might be the fact that the meat was just tainted to a point where you know you shouldn't eat that meat shouldn't even been cooked. You get what I'm saying? And so, like, you cook it, but say you undercook it just a tiny bit, or oh. you just you one degree off, and that virus mm-hmm. like, whoa, shit, I'm still alive? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like, hey. oh, say, hey, bro, what is it? It's it's ninety six, bro. It's ninety six. Said, Dude, I was almost okay. burnt to cool Chris he right said, there. If you would have went to 96.4, Ooh. boy, I would have been gone. Boy, been let me get up in this human body and wreak havoc. Take a look around. Okay, a couple of my niggas still here. Okay, okay. You got All like right. yeah, we you got two bacterium left. <laughs> and that's enough. They spread and wreaking havoc. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Let's, let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. You know, <laughs> you know how insanely rage filled not even angry rage filled i would be if i got sick because a food was cooked one degree less than needed to kill off all the bacteria like what if science could go back and see like the exact degree the food was cooked at and it's like all right so here's your charts you got this you got e coli because your chicken should have been cooked at 145 and it was actually at 137. You know how mad I'll be if I yeah, said, and then on top of that, days. you got the he said the food sat for 45 minutes in the door dash. Boom, got to your crib. You so they just got sit. the multiplier. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's the multiplier going every step of the way. And then you let it sit for 50 minutes before you ate it, and you ain't even bother heating it back up. So you already know at that point it was room temp. <laughs> was 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 in, your boys was in there having a good old time. I remember the only time I had food, uh, food boys my entire life. I know I told you and Reed, but I don't know if I told it on the stream. But I might, I might have told it, but I don't remember. I'm gonna tell it again. The only time I had food poisoning was my roommate made shrimp po' boys, and they was good. Oh yeah, oh man. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we was all drinking, and we got fucked up, and we left them out overnight. And the, the shrimp po you can microwave leftover shrimp. That's not an issue. But on the shrimp po boys was shrimp, also mayo, mm-hmm. and some other stuff. But I think it's the mayo that really did it. We left out. Actually, you know what? I don't know what it was because Ooh, the same exact thing. <laughs> I don't know what it was because the same exact thing that. Maybe it was microwaving it. Maybe it was heating it up. Okay, because we left out these shrimp po' boys with shrimp and mayonnaise, and then the next day I warmed it up. It didn't taste very anything. It tasted fine. And then the day after that, I was so fucked up, I literally couldn't move. It was like I had the flu. My whole body was weak. I had muscle pain. I was throwing up. I had diarrhea. It was everything. I had a fever. I was fucked up for an entire day and a half. So... I just don't understand what exactly in the shrimp pole boy fucked me up because I've had shrimp pole boys that I've left out and then eating the next day I was fine. So I'm thinking it was microwaving that old mayo. 
That's this got to be it because I've eaten at room temperature after a day and it was fine. I think the microwave, it was heating up the bacteria <laughs> and it was getting hot and steamy and it was fucking. Activated some. He, I, I activated something or I don't know maybe if the shrimp he was using was already old and then he cooked it and then we left it out for a night and then the next day so that was typically like day three. I, it was. There's some variable that caused that shit to make me almost fucking die. But <laughs> I've eaten day old shrimp multiple times since then, hundreds of times since then. So I don't know what it was. Boy, it was that shit was acting real on you, usually. It was, yeah, it was just a shrimp pole boy. It had shrimp, some lettuce, some mayo. Maybe one had mustard on it. I don't know what else could be on there that makes it even. Almost died from food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, the funniest thing I ever seen. Yeah, uh, there was a tweet you tweeted today, and it was about <laughs> it was a woman said, "I just took my grandson to the park. <laughs> Some idiot has covered the playground in beans." <laughs> He said, I have cleared as much as I can, but I only have one sheet of kitchen roll. Please be careful. Yeah. Oh, that shit had me cry. Did the caption pray for peace? This is a madman putting a tablespoon of beans on every seat in the crowd. Yeah, niggas been acting out with beans for almost a decade now. Ever since the the fateful encounter where the, <laughs> nigga, where the old white man was eating Bush's baked beans in a movie theater. Watch it and he too. spilled it and a group of black youth said, hey, this nigga eating beans. It's been all downhill since then. Bean related. We've seen no peace. We've seen beans have seen no peace at all. And then just when we thought maybe we could recover, somebody popped a bean in the club and then they stopped moving. Some sick son of a bitch <laughs> is going to a children's playground just putting beans on all the swings and the slides. He said, and they're not even cooked. The basket doesn't even have any sense. He just cracked the can open and was just pouring them places. Straight out the can, bro. Come on. Nigga walk around with a can and a spoon? Like, what we doing? He had multiple cans. It was it was a full yeah, serving. He got bag of cans. <laughs> a whole bag, a whole heap of cans. <laughs> this is sick son of a bitch, yo. It was me. I hope not. Can't look at you the same after. All I did was just pour some beans in random places. No, man. You did more than that. You violated the the sanctity of a bond that we as humans share. And for that... What kind of bond involves uh, fucking beans? And for that... I don't know, man. I think they'll they'll go as far as they need to. Who's they? I've already said too much. <laughs> oh, man. I'm the fuck up. But there's oh, a reason man. he popped the bean in the club and he couldn't move. He said, think yeah. about it. And, and I pray you find the answers before they find you. I'm Maybe just going to move to Russia. Like, that was <laughs> He said, hey, y'all, um, they giving these beans. They doing they doing something with the beans. I can tell y'all more. Learn about our bean technology. Yeah, I could I could tell y'all more if y'all let me in. (laughs) Nigga at the he had the border here, the embassy. (laughs) I I could I'm telling you, I know all about beans, bro. About beans, bro. All of them shirts. Bushes baked beans, easy. Like beanie weenies, you know what that is? It's like beans and like the hot dogs cut up. Like know that too. Like all type of beans, bro. White beans, pinto beans, red kidney beans, all that. Easy. I never had any type of beans with hot dogs cut up in them other than pork and beans. No, you gotta make it yourself. I imagine any other type of beans would still work. Black you beans with sh- hot dogs cut up in them was probably still oh, smack. Right. If you know, it's probably crank. <laughs> I think I think black beans are definitely the black the best bean. I like kidney beans. Kidney beans are really good. I'm not gonna hold you. 
kidney beans. You talking about the red beans are going to chili, right? Yeah, I'm a fan of kidney beans for sure. I like kidney beans, but I only like them in chili. They have a very specific taste. Kidney beans, black beans. Um, black beans going chili too, but black beans are going anything. Kidney beans specifically go in chili. I mean, listen, or stew, stews too. Or stews, I mean, yeah. any any beans in the stew though. It's, it's they just have a, it don't matter what you can put chickpeas, garbanzo beans, quote unquote, whatever you want to call them. Wait, stew, are chickpeas bro, and garbanzo beans the same thing or are they different? I mean, they might as well be. I've been seeing I some cans that all. say garbanzo beans and, and they be chickpeas. Chick yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, clearly. They don't even know what to call it. It's all one business pumping out different shit for different people. Yeah, he like, bro, it's garbanzo like chick- beans, not chick- like garbanzo beans. Yeah. Y'all nasty. I don't rock with chickpeas. I don't do no garbanzo beans. Maybe garbanzo beans are just chickpeas, but they're marinating or something, because garbanzo beans are kind of slimy and have a different taste than chickpeas. It's slimy. They be screaming slack. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever fucking juice they use to preserve it in the can that makes yeah. it garbanzo beans instead of chickpeas. Yo, do you remember when they used to have them canned fruit cocktails with the heavy syrup? Not the light yeah. syrup. Now they do the light yeah. syrup or like just water and it's like lightly sweetened or whatever. Like, nah, the heavy syrup, nigga. I never got why they did that because you can preserve fruit in any number of ways without dousing it in heavy syrup. Heavy yeah. Syrup. Yeah. I mean, I think you know why it's cheap. Remember the so. There was a point in U.S. history, right, where corn was so subsidized that you might as well just make... If you could use the corn for everything, you would be cutting costs on everything. Mm-hmm. Because... They use that shit for gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alcohol. So if they giving you the corn, I, I'm going to find... I'm going to... Niggas gave me corn and then I freaked it. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> niggas gave me corn and then I freaked it. A million ways. Because Literally. it was subsidized. Why wouldn't I? All right, they did it with cheese. Okay. As it's they cool. should, though. They should. You know, the cheese they, one, they, yeah. They were totally right to do that. I mean, no, no, they was even right with corn, but, like, y'all niggas need to start upping y'all game. It's more No, they, they, no they gave us high fructose corn syrup. That's fucked up. No, nah, it's a million other That's things that they up. did with corn that was tough, though. I'm not going to hold you. I understand high fructose has a very incredibly negative uh, 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 legacy, but uh, <laughs> they went crazy with the rest of the corn products that do work. So, what, I mean, ethanol? Gasoline? What, we just we just suddenly <laughs> need gas now? Mm-hmm. Just suddenly, huh? Just suddenly. We just, all of a sudden, we need some corn gas now, huh? said Just suddenly. Like, that wasn't, that wasn't the cause of wars 100 years ago, huh? <laughs> no, that was spices. That's why white people was taking over. Mm, oh, 100 years ago. But it was spices. Okay. Listen, time is not linear. It's not that's linear. Not, that's all I got. That's... I don't have nothing more than that. Just going cycles, huh? Okay. No, I agree. No, so like you could just look at one point in time and it might be a different point. That's it. What the point doing? (laughs) (laughs) Oh man, I just had a a random thought. Iron Giant. Mm Mm-hmm. Put him on the random. Oh, the random. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, that's a good one. Wait, would it have been better if it was Iron Giant or the kid from Iron Giant? Uh, I mean, either one's good, but the kid's a super... A kid's a deeper cut. Or even the fucking... The Black Ops CIA guy with the glasses from Iron Giant? Oh, no. That I'm, take, I'm taking the maid from Big O. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thank taking the know. maid from Big O. Mr. Bubbles from Lilo and Stitch. I'm screaming. I'm taking Jerry from Totally Spies. That's super deep cuts because I don't even mm-hmm. remember that nigga. Ultra deep cut. I don't, I don't remember that nigga at all. Some nigga, some niggas just wouldn't get it. I remember all the spots for sure, for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember that dude they reported to. That was Jerry, baby. What was the uh? What was the uh? Charlie's Angels equivalent? What was it Bosley? Charlie? Bosley, that was his name. Yeah, there we go. I'm going with uh Tito from Rocket Power. Mm, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. You going with yeah. Gibby? With Gibby? <laughs> with Gibby? <laughs> uh, 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 I, you know, Gibby would be a funny ass face to put up there. I'm not even gonna. Yeah, no, nah, that'll be a good one. 
Gibby would right. be hilarious. That's got to match Tito for right. Yeah, Gibby. I'm going to go Gibby. <laughs> Let's get back to, to brass tacks. Brass <laughs> tacks. What are we talking about? We're talking about dead rats, right? Uh, that was like that yeah, was, was a little while little, ago, but that was the overarching while. subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we talking about capitalism. Oh. That's how we like went down this whole thing. So I was gonna segue into the whole stem player that that Kanye was selling, but it was a little nasty because I'm like, I mean, you ain't got nothing to do with 400 family you ain't got nothing to do with six it. states getting shut down. But you are a capitalist. That's the only reason why I was even making the <laughs> the connection. Degenerate capitalist. I want I want this to fail so he'll come back down to earth. But see, I know it's not. Thing. I know. Yeah, he's still yeah. Buy the shit. I, I don't see that. this. Like my yeah. thing is, the stem player is two hundred beans, right? And so it's like with Kanye's fans alone, right? There's gonna be at least like fifty thousand rabbit fans who will just buy this sight unseen. They don't care what it is, right? And that's generous. That's incredibly generous for Kanye, right? But like, come on now, we got to do the numbers here. You gotta do numbers here, right? Like, what what does it look like when you take two hundred dollars and multiply that by 50, 50 racks? That is, oh my goodness, they don't even put the apostrophes or apostrophes, the commas in here. I can't read this. Is this ten million? I don't know what number it is. Let me do it on my phone. You calculate on your computer. It don't yeah. got apostrophes. Yeah, it's, sick. it's ten million. Apostrophes. Ten million. So 50,000 50, people buy two hundred dollars stem players. That's ten million dollars. Kanye would have never made $10 million off of really any amount of sales on his album. Because the, yeah. the ratios just don't work out like that. Like, like L, plus <laughs> L plus ratio. L plus ratio. It just don't work out that way. Right? So in terms of so strictly capitalist standpoint, this is, I mean, come on, nigga. You cannot fucking lose on this. You just simply couldn't. So, I just said 50 racks and that come on bro it's kind of 50,000 way more than that I I'm, I'm, I wanted to lowball it it's probably going to be at least 300,000 people yeah it's like going to be a couple hundred thousand like the people who would have bought the album just buy the $200 stem player instead My it's thing is, it doesn't make sense to me because are you only going to listen to this one album on this one device you can't even transfer it to Spotify and listen to it on your phone you have to have this device on you to listen to this album. You just yeah. and you're gonna pay two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars to listen to one album. And my thing is, you know for a fact he's gonna drop the shit on the labels later on because it would yeah. only it would it's only just, make sense to. to it's me, like the, a PlayStation exclusive time, so like it's, it's on PlayStation it's just, for five months and then later it's everywhere else. Bro, it's just like the merchandise packages that niggas used to do, right? Where, like, you buy $150 worth of clothes, and I just drop my album in there, too. You know what I'm saying? And that counts as an album sale. So I'm doubling up. I'm really making $150, and that's the money I want, right? But the album sale counts, too, so it counts to the formula. So it's the same thing. Kanye ain't going to do the same thing. Ain't no way in hell he's going to... Listen, if I sell... Say you make $100 million off of these stem players. You think I'm not going to put my shit on Spotify after three weeks? Yeah, and no, then just no make the money there. from Spotify too. It's gonna be much lower, of course. But I wonder. No matter to... what, this is a win-win for Kanye. It's just his fucking rabid fans are going to make it win for him, and he's he's advertised the stem player before. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he definitely did. There's probably niggas that already had it because yeah, before yeah. before he was exclusively dropping this album he was saying you could like edit music and add reverb and add bass and treble mm-hmm, and you could do mm-hmm. all this and mix and match so niggas probably already had he probably already had at least a hundred thousand niggas buy this shit yeah. yeah and and that's my whole thing like my whole point is to me it's no longer, I mean, in, in obvi- it's obvious because Kanye's a billionaire. Like, it no longer matters what Kanye actually produces anymore. You know what I'm saying? Just like we like Elon Musk and certain people. Like, it just no longer matters what they produce. Like, like obviously, Jeff Bezos is a nigga where he kind of sort of tried to get out the way. Now he want to get out the way because he's been front and center. He done made his empire. And he's like, nah, I want to get out the way and use my shit behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be the front man no more. I did that. I'm good. I, I built what we got. Now I'm gonna enjoy my fruits of my labor from the back row. Some niggas, you know, some niggas want that their whole life. 
And Kanye's one of them guys. Kanye, he never will take that back seat, even as a billionaire. Niggas like, nah, I'm gonna be the front, I'm gonna be the face of this shit, I'm gonna be the drive, I'm the genius, I'm this, I'm that. And the problem is, it's a lot of risk that comes with that. Because you can always hire a guy who you tell him what the mission is, and he will execute that shit to a T because you are building something that he like you you giving him a legacy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You pay him five hundred thousand dollars a year, or two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, or two hundred thousand, one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year to run your company, and you're the face of a company that's Kanye shit, and you got photo ops with Kanye. like my nigga. That's timeless, bro. You you know like that dude is gonna do his job, like <laughs> like there's no doubt, and he gonna treat this shit like this shit is everything. He's not gonna be as careless with it as even Kanye might be, because you see plenty of times where he's just careless with it. He don't really care. He just, hey, look, man, I'm going to just say and do some shit. And this is what I'm doing and saying. And it don't you know, matter. Nigga yeah. still going to fuck with me, so. Because at this point, listen, I got enough I got enough slurpers, baby. Yeah, literally, once you hit that billionaire status, weird Reddit nerds are going to support you no matter what. They don't Niggas need Reddit nerds. Elon. Anybody, even Tyler Perry. Like, a lot of people talk about the philanthropy and all of that. Who be slurping on Tyler Perry? Cut it out. He's a billionaire no, for a reason. No, ain't no way. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about, like, supporting his, his shit, because black people stay supporting shit. No, 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 no. Who no, is, I'm like, talking... actively out here standing Tyler Perry, like, Elon no, Musk, or Kanye West, or Jeff Bezos? Right? You can get enough black people to love your shit. That don't make you no billionaire. You know what makes you a billionaire. You get what I'm saying? There's an investment. Right. Someone has to make an investment in you. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And that has nothing to do with whether black people like your shit or not, is what I'm getting at. So what I'm saying is, with that being said, you always gonna have slippers. Once you get to that point, you, that's where the slippers come from. Like that's your, you get your first infusion of slippers. <laughs> they just like, right, we're gonna we gonna start you off with a, a first package, 25,000 slippers. You got 25,000 slippers on Twitter, IG. So, you know, anybody get at you, you get people and, you know, you can get people to get back at them. It's just like auto jam. was trying to hire a social media defender to defend him anytime anybody said anything bad about him. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Bro, they are literally hiring slurpers. Like, let's not let's not beat around the bush. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people don't have to be paid for it. When you, when you drive enough of the psychology and you, you know what I'm saying? You've done enough of that science to understand how you are literally manufacturing certain things and this and that like bro no you can drive people to do it for free you know how many of these stands do the a better job than what these corporations can do for free just for the love of this shit you know what i'm saying swallowing elon musk dick yeah he just an eager eater like (laughs) jeff bezos that bald headed i just strive to be that you know and that's why i want to have that be able to impact the earth and to change and then i'm like bro stop it you want to be a billionaire who can move however you want stop you said and deal with impact or dealing the impact (laughs) yeah There was a study I seen that was saying that Earth may be a living, intelligent being. Oh, I thought you were about to do the other shit that I saw. Um, yeah. They're saying that Earth may have what they call planetary intelligence, right? Which is cognitive activity operating on planets. I know, I know, I know. And every time they, you know, we get a little closer to it, I'm a slurp. I ain't gonna hold you. This shit is amazing. I love it. Planetary intelligence. Are you fucking kidding? Are you kidding me? Nigga, that's going, that's every time. As soon as I hear that, ooh. <laughs> what the planet doing? <laughs> like, We're saying the earth is alive and humanity is a cancer for years. I mm-hmm. definitely believe the earth is alive. Yeah, they call this an immature techno sphere. I was like, yo, watch your mouth, yo. Yo, is that a <laughs> That's a slur for sure, yo. Immature techno sphere. Yo, watch your mouth, yo. <laughs> but yeah, so they were saying that eventually when you get to a mature techno sphere, right, it involves integrating technological systems with Earth through a network of feedback loops that make up a complex system. Now, this shit makes sense. It makes perfect sense because 
the earth is an ecosystem like and it's its own system on a scale that we you know i don't think we really get because it's the only one we got <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like we just we don't get it we don't understand that yeah. but i think every single one of these joints got some sort of intelligence to it, right some sort of systems that are involved that like you know it's an algorithm to all this sh- think about like the whole concept of an algorithm to me that's i feel like everything Wait, about ha- planets as a whole yeah i don't know if all planets got sentience earth just different because i'm here uh you can't tell me. <laughs> why you think they said pluto not a planet no more that nigga brain not working yeah earth it. just different because I'm, I'm here <laughs> oh man Pluto is not a plan anymore. Niggas not thinking. And niggas' brain is gone. You said, bro, I, why you think it's not a plan no more? I went over to Pluto. I said, yo, what's up, yo? That nigga ain't not... that. <laughs> <laughs> he he want to pay the tax. So I said, nah, we're going to deregister y'all niggas. And that's Mercury, what it is. What it is. Mercury, that nigga can't be alive. That nigga right next to the sun. He got to be hot, yo. I ain't even going to hold that. I, ain't like, I don't even like going over there. I could handle it, but I just be sweating too much. <laughs> Mercury is right next to the sun. Well, not right next to the sun. He's millions of miles away, but. So, yeah, I can handle that. Dude. I can handle that. Shit just be irking me. I don't, I don't, I don't be wanting to go Jupiter over there. Jupiter is the fat, gassy nigga. That nigga just be eating fucking. Nigga, bow ride show. <laughs> the whole planet is made out of gas. The whole atmosphere, all this shit is. So he's the biggest planet in our solar system, right? Jupiter. Yeah, I seen something today where it was talking about a planet that be like has metal clouds and all this other shit. And I was like, yo, every time I hear shit like that, bro, every time I'm telling you, it's just ooh. <laughs> every single time. I literally spend hours a day just looking at different uh, planets that people research and different mm-hmm. guys. And I just love hearing about all the shit that you get. Like, there's planets where gla- there's glass rain. Mm-hmm. Glass rain? You just getting ripped apart? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love reading about this shit. I love hearing. I love seeing planets where there's no, no cons- way they possibly Possibly. Like, bro, I seen okay. one. I think and I'm reading the it. The rain is so terrible that it's basically acid rain. Like, we have acid rain here, but it's literally acid. Like, it burns through your skin if it touches you. Mm-hmm. I, just, I love your shit. Like I seen this planet. one planet. It's called the Hell Planet because during the day, this shit is 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, let's go. Water gets ripped apart. How that have yeah. ripped apart? What is that? How you rip apart a liquid? Mm-hmm. But at night, uh, you know, it gets blown around by eleven thousand mile per hour winds. Let's fucking go. That's the see. That's the shit I like to hear about. It's I too love close to its parent star, right? So like that shit just be baking. I like how you call it a parent star because to us, it's a star. But to them, it's a sun. Like, our mm-hmm. sun, it's, it's just a star, but to us, it's the sun. Mm-hmm. So every star out there is a sun. Mm-hmm. And a lot, billions, trillions are bigger than our sun. It's pappies. It's all types of pappies. Are deadbeat dads out here ain't raising their sons, yo. Yeah, deadbeat dads. All the deadbeat dads when supernova and blew up their whole galaxies. He said, I'm about to implode, yo. Yeah, I know. That's what Debbie's love to do. <laughs> yeah, I bet you would like to implode, huh? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't. Just harm everyone around you, right? Yeah, you don't care. Reckless you abandon, huh? Yeah, you just want to go out here and harm it. You a hoe, yo. You a lame man, nigga. I never forget when I was younger and I first learned that all the stars that we see in the, in the sky are more than likely already dead. The brighter a star is, the more likely it is that it's already dead and not existing anymore. Yeah, that's nuts. Because the light, the brightest that a star can get is when it's going supernova and about to explode. So the brighter it is in the sky, that's just how long it took for the light for that exploding star to reach Earth. So a star will be 700 million light years away, but it'll be bright as fuck Mm -hmm. because that shit just exploded. That's why the North Star, the brightest star we have, is dead. 
North Star been dead for millions of years. Tr- yeah, probably sure, hundreds of millions of years. The North Star isn't even a star anymore. It's just sure, I don't want to think it's about a ghost. <laughs> But nah, I mean, I always loved shit like that. I'm like, bro, when you see the scale of the universe, bro, that shit just... I always loved that shit, because it's like, bro, all the shit we dealing with is insignificant, yo. Yeah. Niggas of arguing course. about this and about that, bro, bro, bro. It's a planet with I posted letter. something a few months ago, and it was like, um, the Hubble telescope found I don't even know how many millions, maybe hundreds of millions of different galaxies mm-hmm. and that hundreds of millions of galaxies that they saw fit inside the dot on top of an eye nasty that's just work. looking in one direction of the mm-hmm. universe that's nasty work and that's that's galaxies mm-hmm. like you know no, solar guess. systems inside ga- mm-hmm. like it's like we're in a solar system right now the, and and mm-hmm. then it's, and we contain within a galaxy that we have we have no really no nothing about we don't know shit we don't and our our closest galaxy is what the Andromeda galaxy we don't know what the fuck going on over there we don't even know what the fuck going on here nigga right yeah, there man. we know what's going on in our solar system right now we don't know what's nigga, going on we hardly know that we know what's going on here oh yeah we know what's <laughs> going on here. we don't even know what's going on in fucking well, I mean, and we I know ain't... a little bit what's going on. We know Jupiter is a planet full of gas. We know Neptune and Uranus. And well, what I'm saying is, think about it. We haven't even seen the seas of our own planet. So what the fuck do oh, we yeah. really know about like what's going we on? We see what the planet looks on the outside. We don't know what it's like yeah. underground. Like, we don't even have a full understanding of this own planet. We don't have any understanding of any other planet. I don't care if we took pictures on the surface. That should know. What? Nigga, what? That means I linked up with a shorty once, took pictures of her. Do I know her? No, nigga. Like <laughs> most of this planet is water, and most of the water is unexplored. Isn't it like ninety percent or something ridiculous? Ninety percent of the ocean is unexplored. I would imagine it is something unbelievably high. Oh, remember the Marianas Trench, nigga? The eels just go there and just swap bodies. Like, so come on now. What type of shit going on? More than no clue, 80% bro. of the ocean has never been mapped, explored, or even seen. So we haven't even sent, like, robots. Like, we've sent a probe to Mars, mm-hmm. but we can't send a probe to the bottom of the ocean. We sent Michael Strahan to the edge of the atmosphere. No disrespect to Michael Strahan, but what the fuck is we doing? <laughs> like, what is we doing? I like Michael Strahan. What the fuck is we doing, though? <laughs> I'm a firm believer that there is some shit at the bottom of the ocean that will destroy the world if we disturb it. That nigga Cthulhu, he down there. Something's down there. Something down there, for sure. There's gotta be, like, I don't know, there's been... My mom, my mom, and not just my mom, but old people in general used to say the devil shows you every day what he's got in store on TV. And you know how many movies there's been about uh, some type of gaseous cavern breaking open and then some type of old species of dinosaur or fish or monster breaks out and start destroying people? There's got to be something. It all sounds good. But I think the worst part is we're not going to have to worry about them gaseous beasts because if we break open them gaseous caverns, we're going to have to deal with that. And all of that shit ends up adding up. Because think about it. Imagine how look. Well, not even imagine. Look at how effed up our climate is now. What happens if we go to the bottom of one of these oceans and break open a gaseous cavern that's now just leaking gas twenty four seven, and nigga, the whole world has to get involved to stop this from leaking too much gas that's gonna blow up the ocean or some shit, some silly shit. You know what, what I'm saying? And then you get one of those, and then oh wait. Because this is in the middle of nowhere, and we had to basically explore the area around it, we found a whole bunch of shit we shouldn't have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's you know like it's yeah. lose, lose. Think yeah, exactly, up. exactly. I mean, think about. I mean, if you want to get into paranormal shit, niggas talk about "quote unquote" portals, where like the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, mm-hmm. we all know that the Bermuda the Bermuda Triangle is where eels come from. That's fact. Now, mm-hmm. we've already established that on this podcast, and that's. The human to eel pipeline is beauty triangle. Mm-hmm. That's where they got the marketplace at. That's yeah. That's where they got the marketplace at. So we know that's what's going on in the beauty triangle. 
What's at the bottom of the ocean? Like, think about uh, fucking what's that movie? Uh, Pacific Rim. Who's mm-hmm. to say it's not just some type of portal where shit come like the Bermuda Triangle was a portal. What if there's a portal at the bottom where shit comes through? Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, uh, we don't have none of them species here yet. But we just opened the game. We got our first one. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're fucked because we don't. Have- <laughs> This is a totally invasive species. We got nothing to handle this. We can pull up on the shore and it's just like, oh, wow, look at this 18 foot tall humanoid. Wait, hold on. What is this, y'all? I don't think anybody <laughs> can pull up on the shore and see something 18 foot and be like, oh, wow. It's going to be much more now, like. Yeah, at oh. first, the nigga smooth, he'd be shocked. He's like, oh, wow, that's <laughs> crazy. They got the, um, the 18, 18 foot. Um, yo, what, what is this, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. say, y'all, 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 what, are, what are we looking at? What's this, y'all? Why do I feel terror? <laughs> Why do I feel terror? He said, how come I can't look at this no more? Um, How do I just naturally feel? Is is this my human instincts kicking it's like, in? Like when Hades hit you with the fear, that shit just fear. Nigga, nigga just turn away. No, 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 not looking at that. Not doing that. You know how terrifying <laughs> something had to be where you just immediately feel fear? Like, you know, you see some shit and you're like, that doesn't seem right. No, no. You see some shit where you immediately just immediate fear. Terror. Run. You see some shit to the point where, yeah, you're, you Run. instantly go in the opposite nigga, turn his back entirely to it. I can never witness that again. Never. <laughs> <laughs> never. I see it like that again, I will likely go insane and kill multiple <laughs> people and myself. He said, I can never witness these things, these horrors again. That racist nigga that came up with Cthulhu and Eldritch Horror might have been right. It was probably something down there. I'm not going to hold you. We had some good time. Hey, man, so what's that? Yo, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back up. Yo, go back up. Please, yo, go back up. I can't. I'm going to start screaming. I'm going to yell. I'm going to holler. I'm going to... I have an irrational... Well, I don't know if it's irrational, but I have a fear of just being in the middle of the ocean Same. and then something no not like in the middle of the ocean like on top like underwater mm-hmm. i just have a fear of being in the middle of the ocean underwater and something gigantic like something so big that i can't comprehend is swimming towards me and it's like it's just what can i do yeah i don't like even picturing that is making it's it's like what i mean it's not a shark coming towards you. You're not about to get bit. It's something oh so God. big. It's going to open your mouth. You just be inside it. In yeah, that shit open his mouth and you just getting vortexed into it. You just that's, hello. That thought is always terrifying to me. And I, Or you might not even know it's a mouth. Nigga, you smooth. There's something so big. Yeah. You see a darkness coming towards you. You're like, yo, what is that? It's like a mile wide. What is this? You're not even moving. It's coming towards you. How... And the worst part is that shit that shit smooth like a mile away from me, but you can feel it and you're like, what does this mean? It doesn't matter how fast you swim, you're not gonna escape something that's a mile away from you that is in engulfing darkness. He said, bro, this shit is so far away from me and I can still feel this thing. I don't like that. What does that mean? You can feel the heat getting closer just from him having his mouth open. <laughs> um, see that that's that is the only thing on Earth that I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of nothing else. So it's just in the ocean, bro. That's why niggas. But you know what's funny? I think, I think at some point somebody might have somebody might have seen something down there, for real, for real, and oh, they yeah. relayed the message and was like, "Yo, no funny shit. Like, do not go down there. I'm dead ass." <laughs> I'm and dead everybody ass was just serious. like, "Yeah, yeah." You and then niggas, yeah, and then might be a couple niggas went and they ain't never come back. And niggas like, "Ah, right, yo." You know, we gonna we just we not gonna talk about it. We just not gonna go down and we can go to space. All that shit is cool, cause you know we don't know about the aliens or all that. But we not gonna go down there. We don't know about the aliens, but we know what the fuck is down there. We don't know what no, it is. We but don't we know, know it's there. Yeah. We know it's something down there. It's we a, know it's something down there. We don't know what's up there. It is a thing. T M down there. T M. That shit got full pee pee. <laughs> 50 out of 50, nigga. I can use nah, this move all shit. day. It's so big. You don't even see a level. You see question marks. 
They ain't even. No, you don't even see question marks. You see skulls. You see three skulls. Yeah, that shit. It's that's no cool. even. Like, it be battle music for everything else. That shit is no music. It's dead silence. Yeah, that's a secret bar in, in Dark Souls. You're like, yo, how come there's no music playing? They they want you to feel this. <laughs> Not only is there no boss music, there's no sound in the game at all. It's like you're in a vacuum, like you're in space. And you get hit once. Oh, uh, okay, that's eighty percent of my health. What what am I getting hit with? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see it. It's just your health just getting sucked out. I used to hate that shit. Like I, I think it was I what was it, like Omega Weapon from one of the games, and I remember like. I was playing against the shit, and it was like, oh, the first turn, that shit come in, and it's like, Omega Weapon is charging. I was like, oh, man, I don't like that. But then you just get your shit off for, like, three turns, and he just charge and buy his energy, and then it could just be, like, Unholy Alliance, and that shit just do, like, I'm like, Unholy what's, Alliance? That's the name of your that? move? I don't, what's that, right? And it'd be, like, a cutscene. I'm like, oh, brother. <laughs> that you shit, but... That, that shit hit your party. I'm like, yeah, look, uh, one dude got 999 the other guy got 7,000. He has 400 health left. Uh, the other guy got 999. And your healer, it actually missed. So you got lucky. Yeah, nothing like, like oh, that. Okay. That reminds me of Final Fantasy X. That's that's exactly what that reminds me of. Yeah. Those I mean, but that's, but again, like, that's the thing. Like, we, that's what's down in the ocean, bro. That's why niggas not going down there. They understand what it is. It's just them bosses where it's just like, you're not supposed to be here. And you, I there, I will not warn you. You're just going to pay for it. That's one of those things. You got to conquer space. You got to go to the the very last level before you come here. Mm-hmm. Space is the last level. Like, bro, this is my home planet. Nah, nah, I get it, no, bro. Still not. You, <laughs> you, you got to you gotta listen. Y'all niggas ain't even been to Pluto yet. So, you like, bro, what? Yeah, listen, I ain't been to Pluto yet. You ain't been to Pluto. You damn train ready to take what the What the fuck ocean. Pluto got to do with the ocean? Jesus. Yes, bro, I'm just letting you know. You're not ready to come down here. <laughs> he said it's just not It's not safe for niggas down here yet. Bro, but I'm saying I got to leave the planet to prepare. Bro, listen, I'm not supposed to give you tips, but you don't get the tools you need to fight me until you go to Pluto. Yeah, he's like, I'm not saying, like, it's like, Pluto's kind of like one of those spots where it's like, you just learn this shit there. You know what I mean? It ain't much on Pluto itself, but like what you learn on Pluto, you gonna need before you ever come back here. Before you even think about getting close to me. They go to Pluto and they got the libraries on Pluto and shit. They just oh what? What the what the fault lines doing? What the earthquakes doing? But yeah, I mean, with climate change and all that shit, I mean, think about it, we're going to unearth a lot of that shit, and it's going to get rough. Because, like you said, if them portals is under there, guess what? Between what we actually doing to the environment and between what the environment is just fighting back with, uh, yeah. We might the environment going to open shit. that portal for us. Mm-hmm, not- yeah, they might fuck around. Like, you know what? I'm about to split yeah. this fault line, bust this shit open, and this oh, is going to be leaking, uh... An unrealistic amount of well, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even you'll see. You don't even know what it is. It's, it's a mixture of some shit you you've never seen before. Don't even worry about it. Like you don't know anything. I promise you. You all have to learn it on the fly, but I mean, you guys probably won't make it. But yeah, man. So what else we got on this list? What else we got on this list? We got snowfalls coming back. So, let's go. Bow. It's perfect. I just finished Ozark, so about time Snowfall come back. I waited on. No, I waited on Ozark. I waited on Ozark. What'd you say? I said I still need to finish season four. I think I'm on like episode three of season four. For Ozark? No, for uh, Snowfall. Oh, okay, for Snowfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Uh. New season is... I, I don't know how many other seasons they're going to keep doing. I feel like maybe this season or the next season should be the last. I don't think they should keep keep going. Um, But yeah, man. So for a bike, I got to watch the recap, though. Because I already know. I don't, I don't really remember. 
what happened. I dare be forgetting shit like that. Last thing I remember. Actually, you know what? I don't even remember last thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I was about to say, bro, whatever you say, I'm not even going to remember. So. <laughs> last thing I remember is from previous seasons. <laughs> I don't remember the last season. Yeah, and my problem is I'm so disconnected from what was what. I don't even want to suggest shit because it might be way yeah. ahead or way behind. Like, <laughs> I have no clue. Something you can ruin for me because I, I started season four. I just didn't finish it. Yeah. Um, And so I, Jerome got his shot. Everything was going good for their family. Okay, Jerome got shot. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, that might have been season three. I'm crying. I don't remember what happened in season four. I gotta go back and rewatch. I remember season four was getting kind of hectic, and I was like, my anxiety is going up. That might be why I stopped watching it because <laughs> shit was getting crazy in season four. I was like, oh man, this is y'all. Y'all doing the fool right now. I gotta y'all take like that. unusual. I remember. Wait, when? He was going to war, right? In season four? I would have to look it up, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. You don't want to read it. I don't remember a single thing in season, any at any point. I left off on season four, episode four. And it went up to episode 10. I got six episodes I need to watch. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't look like too much to on season four. Season four was tough though. I think if I remember it incorrectly, the ending at least. I remember like the last two episodes, but I can barely remember the other shit. Season four, Leon split. Well, he didn't split, but he wasn't part of the crew. He was doing his own thing. Yeah. Afro was crazy. Yeah, sure. Is. That shit was maintained. <laughs> I had an afro like that back in like eighth grade. I never had an afro that big. I always had like the mini afro, like, but I never had one of them joints. Why? Even now, I think now my hair is the longest it's ever been now. I think if I'm keeping it a buck, like I've never had my hair this long. I've been growing my hair for like maybe two years. This is probably the second longest my hair has been. How long uh, have you been growing and shit? Uh, it's like hard to answer. Bars. It's hard to answer because I started growing dreads in like 2017, 2018, and then um, I didn't cut my dread. It's hard to explain. I don't know. I you like trimmed it down dreads. a little bit or something? I trimmed it down, and instead of dreads, I got braids, and then I grew my braids out. Okay, so that's so, fine. I mean, so, so I, I, that's probably since 2019 that I've been growing where I got currently. Okay. Yeah, so your shit, yeah, yeah there you go. Makes sense. Because I know my shit is long enough to get it styled now. It's just like, I don't, I just don't feel like doing it. I just don't want to wait. I don't want to sit somewhere for two hours. Three hours, four hours. I'm just like, bro, I'm good. It don't take that long. No, I know. You know, when I first, the first time I went to get my hair styled, I was like, I'm about to sit in the salon. I never understood why our parents, mother specifically, sat in the salon for four or five hours. Yeah, and it makes sense. Every time I get my hair done, it takes an hour and a half max. Well, uh, listen, you might be blessed, bro. You might be blessed with a a nigga who value, a person who value your time. Oh, wait, wait, let me, let me, let me paraphrase, let me, let me be specific. To get my hair done takes about an hour and a half. But, mm, you know, when okay. you go to a black yeah, salon, you're never on see. time. Yeah, hey, see, that's the part you're leaving okay. out. You got to so wait for 45 for about, minutes to an hour. 45 minutes yeah. to an hour. For a
They could do it's worth it just to not look like a degenerate. I know, but then that's my whole thing. I'm like, I'd rather just go to the shop, wait my 30 minutes and get a cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, or wait 15 minutes for the guy in front of me and then get my 20 minute cut. Like, and what was the point of growing your hair out in the first place? No, there was none. I just wasn't going to barbershops because of COVID at first. And then after a while, I was just like, eh, I'm going to just take care of my hair and just see what happens. There was no point in growing my hair out. That's just what I chose to do. (laughs) Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. Speaking of damned if you do, damned if you don't, Mm -hmm. guess we can end the pod on this. Uh, That boy, Jawan Howard, acting unusual, boy. He acting how he should have acted. I mean, yes and no. Yes and no, like, the coach that came up on him. Okay, no, I understand, Craig. Uh, Craig said it's time for us to head on out there. So, uh, I'm going to you know, wrap it up real quick. Uh, long story short, Juwan Howard mushed the shit out of a coach because he ain't like the coach's tactics. However, Juwan Howard was egging him on a little bit too. So, like, it was a situation where both of them was wrong. The coach came up to Juwan Howard after the whole thing and, like, put his hands on him. Like, yo, 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 what was that? Let me, let me, da, da, da. And Juwan, you could tell Juwan Howard just wasn't with it. Like, and I think, like, that's something he need to recognize. Like, I don't care about, like, we could talk about professionalism in a sense, like, yes, there's a certain standard you got to hold yourself to. But at the same time, when a nigga's made it clear he's not about to show that, you need to understand as a, just a person. Forget a professional. As a no, person to person. I don't agree with that. No, when you see a nigga about to go somewhere with it, and you can see, if you can see that, you need to see, approach that differently, bro. Forget the professionalism. You need to, all right, okay, that's what he on? Nah, I'm going to just leave that nigga alone. I ain't going to bother shaking his hand. If they ask it afterwards, then I'll talk my shit. But, you know, clearly he's sick. I don't care. I won. Yeah, like, because to me, that's how I'm looking at it. If I'm the white coach, I won. I don't care how mad you are, nigga. Your nigga's lost. What the hell I give a damn about? I don't care. Oh, who, oh, wait, who, never mind, never mind. I was looking at it from Juwan's side, and nigga keep egging you on. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 no. From I'm looking white, at it from the white, from the white dude perspective. Like it's like well, I, mean, I want that's, first off. That's white so people's like, main mo. They don't white people just live in a a world where they don't think anyone will ever touch them at any point. So they do shit. They egg niggas on. And yeah, they do shit that they shouldn't do, and it's just like bro, they you never should not be, to get hit ever. Yeah, if, if a nigga walking past you, he don't even want like you know what I mean. He hit at the back of the the the, the, the handshake line. It's a reason for that, bro. He could have shook your hand immediately. Why you think he always Why would the, the coach be at the back of the head? <laughs> you don't want to shake your hand. It's simple. That's what I mean. That's why I'm saying, like, from the his from the white dude perspective, like, bro, when you see certain behavior, all right, okay, I see what it is. I see what it is. Niggas tight. I'm gonna let it rock then. I'm gonna let it rock then. I don't matter because I got the dub anyway. So I don't care if we don't shake my hand, nigga. You gotta play me twice a year, or at least. And and I cooked you just now. Goof. So <laughs> you're done. Yeah, no, he don't. That don't. And then so he was white dude was saying, like, oh, I was just trying to explain to him and da 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 and this and that. And of course Juwan wasn't going for it. He just ain't care. Uh-huh. And he was just on some shit. And I was just like, hey, look, bro, that whole mushroom, he was dead wrong for this shit. He gotta know better. I don't give a fuck. Bro, it's a white man, and he ain't put his hands on you like he was like trying to yoke you up, nigga. He put his hands on you like just to stop you like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Like, no, you come touch on. me, you get my full force. I'm yeah, I know. Me. Come you on, get... come on. Got him. Come on. Got him. Yeah, Especially if I was already mad at you. I was already yeah, mad at you. So it was just an excuse. Like, Guess what? How are you gonna be a professional anywhere then, bro? Where are you gonna be at? Where if a nigga, yo, hey, listen, hey, let me explain myself. Let me explain. You just still off on him? Come on, nah, bro. No, you know no. what? I no. literally just saw something today that said, uh, Juwan Howard, the first nigga in black history to stole off on a white man, still have a job. So, hey, mm, that's probably facts. That's probably that's facts. That's probably facts. <laughs> that's probably facts. I mean, like, I mean. I don't know if it's been ran by the association yet, but that's probably fast. The Fact Finders Association, but not yeah, the no, I mean National Association for facts. Negroes. Yeah, but listen, man. I mean, it, it's a weird situation because I he has clearly shown that he has a temper because he did some shit with the Maryland coach the other day. You know, last year I believe. He yeah. almost got into it with them. Yep, he almost got into it with a coach with them. He was apparently saying he'll effing kill a nigga. 
and all this other stuff. And right. So it's like, my man, no disrespect. You think you still on the court balling. Hang it up. Old man, are we going to hang it up for you? Old man. Yeah, like forever, like hang he, it up. He's bro. really like, trash on it, like he's still on the court. Yeah, like, like you're he, the coach now, my ball. nigga. You the coach now, my nigga. If you can't, for if you can't figure this out, yo, you're gonna have to hang it up, bro. And don't get me wrong, like he's had a little bit of success, but that was the other thing. People kept bringing up that whole white angle, like, oh well, if a white dude did this, this white coach that killed people, it's white Phil Bobby oh, Knight was throwing chairs, you know. No, listen, these niggas are talking facts. But my whole point being is, guess what? You're not a white coach, and you know that, and you will never be a white coach. But see, that's the thing. If we're constantly bringing up glass ceilings that need to be broken, isn't that adhering nope. to white supremacy to begin with? Maybe black coaches should just be able to act out like white coaches. Mm, okay, so, so let me ask you a question. Do you think we should have no Ben Roethlisberger's or more Ben Roethlisberger's? Ben Roethlisberger's of every kind. Right? Okay. Hold on. Let me keep, we'll go a step further. Oh, you go take a step further. I already yeah, had an answer. Keep, you go uh, take a step further. Oh, okay. No, what's the answer? I already what's had an answer. answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> like, no. but that's the point. That's what niggas want. That's what niggas is looking for. Like, so you want a world where Juwan Howard don't face no consequences for this because there's white coaches who have done nastier things who didn't face that many consequences. Like, that can't be the bar we're going to set. same for. argument. Yeah. It's the same shit with Bill Cosby, with fucking R. Kelly. Well, Yo, uh, with any of these niggas. Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn, what is his name? Uh, Trey Songz? No, the white nigga. Oh, uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein? Harvey Weinstein, yeah. Harvey Weinstein got away with oh, yeah. it for decades. Why, why Bill Cosby and R. Kelly? Yeah, I'm like, because R. Kelly got away with it for decades instead of Bill Cosby. What do you mean? He was making oh. jokes about it 30 years ago. What are you talking about? What are you saying? What are you talking about? Nah, they black, so he should have got away with that. That's all but saying. he was making jokes and a stand-up about it in the 80s, nigga. Come on now. He got away with it. R. Kelly, the video, the P video came out when we was kids. He got away with it for 20 years at least. I didn't see that video, nor did I see Boondocks make fun of that video, so... Yeah. It don't that. count. <laughs> But this is why I was like, bro, I hate when y'all do this. When, like, y'all want to be pro-black so bad that y'all let black folks get away with just disgusting shit. And it's like, bro, no, sorry. As a head coach, you can't grab another coach's face for any reason. I don't care, bro. I don't care if you're mad because of his tactics and he tried to explain yourself. And so he put his hands on your chest a little bit. And what? You thought he was going to beat your ass? Shut up, bro. No, you didn't. <laughs> You knew he wasn't gonna harm you. No, nah, that was just an excuse. That was just exactly, was exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm a grown man. Don't put your hands on me, bro. Listen, I get all that, and I get you tight from a loss, cool. But as a grown man, since we want to talk grown man shit, bro, you gotta have way more respect for the game, way more respect for yourself, for your team, for the shit you represent, nigga. To just swing on a nigga because I lost the game, and he gonna put his hands on me because he trying to explain himself to me. He ain't putting his hands on me like, yeah, nigga, what's up? What's up? Y'all whack. Y'all corny at, like, like now, now, granted, if he was talking like that, yeah, yo, full court press that nigga, yeah? Show him what it is, right? But he wasn't even doing that, bro. You was just trying to skate past him. Like, you was on some, I remember that. I remember that. I got you, bro. Well, I got you. And he like, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Nah, it's not even like that, bro. It's not even like that, bro. My, he won. Cause, so he could have easily been over here kicking you while you was down. But he over here trying to explain himself like, look, bro, it's the reason I called the timeout. You was doing some shit. So, like, come on, man. I'm not about to just let my niggas. Nah, I don't That's care a, if the game I, this, If anything, it's a compliment. Bro. I thought there was a might of, there was a chance we could. You was doing some wild shit, bro. I had to. Yeah, yeah, so I called the timeout because I'm like, bro, come on. What we doing, yo? Nah, watch this. Like, <laughs> Like, nah, nah. So, that's why I'm like, bro, I want to hear that, bro. You clearly don't seem like you the nigga fit for this job. You can't be. Because ain't no way you just want to swing on a nigga because he just lightly put his chance on you trying to explain himself. Like, bro, so let me let me ask you a question. If somebody else in your life put their hands on you, just, hey, wait, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Please, let me just explain my, you going to steal off on him? That's what yeah. you going to do? This Nobody nigga, man. Y'all been kidnapped. Yeah, yo, yeah. yeah, you, yeah you I know the law. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop me from leaving somewhere. He said, that's kidnapping, bro. I know yeah. that. You're not about to put your hand. You put your hand up and stop me from going trying to go. Yeah, yo. You, you At kidnapping. that point, I can respond however I need to get it. Like, you feel me? Well, yeah, man. Listen, I'm begging y'all, please. When black folks fucked up, just you don't got to press them harder than you would press the white folks. Just make sure y'all press them. Don't act like y'all don't see the wrong in this shit, bro. It's obvious. 
And don't 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 even like focus on oh well, the media care more about what he did than what the white coach did. What did the white coach do? He, he put his hands on a grown man to try to explain himself. Like, bro, he politely put out again. I'm not telling y'all niggas he should have been doing that. He should not be touching no other man. 100 percent It's a handshake or nothing, nigga. It's that's it. It's a handshake or nothing. But at the same time, bro, you know what the fuck that grown ass man was trying to tell you. And for you to act like you no, stop it. Stop it, bro. Stop it. I don't want to hear that dumb shit. Like, we grown, y'all. Don't put your hands on me unless you expecting something. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, what were you expecting from this nigga? Cut it out. You bugging. I'm about to pull out a pistol at the next <laughs> game I'm coaching you. He said, yo, I got it on me, yo. Stop playing. I got it on me. <laughs> He's like, bro, what is the coach talking about? He's like, nah, yo, nah, I ain't scrapping with nobody. Yo. I got something for niggas. Yo, I got it on me. We're not I scrapping. got something for you That's been another episode, man. I think it's about time we done got the hell up out of here. Love it. I got to pee very badly. Yeah, I also do, too. I've been holding it for a while. Now. So, episode 37, we out of here. Peace.